Hello, I'm John Bachman. The White House is not ruling out the use of U.S. ground troops in its ongoing fight against ISIS. President Obama's official request to use military force against ISIS in Iraq and Syria is now in the hands of Congress. And while the request limits military action to three years and bans any large-scale use of American ground troops, the White House is leaving some wiggle room. What he does want to preserve uh, is the ability to um, react to contingencies. Uh, and in some cases, reacting promptly to contingencies may require uh, ordering military action that does involve combat boots on the ground. Well, House Speaker John Boehner and some Democrats are raising concerns about the president's military plans. Boehner says changes are likely before it comes up for a vote. The president's point is that he wants to uh, dismantle and destroy ISIS. Uh, I haven't seen a strategy yet that I think will accomplish that. Well, in a statement, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi did not endorse the president's proposal, but she says Congress should quickly pass a narrowly defined bill to fight ISIS. Steve mentioned the speech from President Obama coming up at 3.30 or scheduled anyway. We'll try to bring that to you live. Also, the fight against Ebola is on the president's agenda today. Logistics have been set up. Ebola treatment units have been built. Over 1,500 African health workers have been trained. And volunteers around the world have gained the confidence to join the fight. Well, the president says the outbreak in West Africa was a wake-up call for the world. He's calling on wealthy countries to make investments to ensure that poor nations have the basic health systems to detect and fight Ebola. And the verdict is in for the captain of that capsized ship, the Costa Concordia, which capsized in Italy. Francesco Chitino has been convicted of multiple charges of manslaughter and sentenced to 16 years in jail. He was present, was not present when the uh, verdict was read today in court. Chitino was commanding the vessel in 2012 when it got too close to shore and hit the rocks off the island of Giglio. The defense has introduced the framework for an insanity defense in the trial of the man accused of, of murdering American sniper Chris Kyle and another Iraq war vet. Kyle's wife, Taya, along with his brother Jeff, have been in the courtroom today. In opening statements, the lawyer for the 27-year-old suspect, Eddie Ray Routh, laid out his strategy. That at the time of this tragedy, Eddie Routh was suffering from a severe mental disease that he did not know his conduct was wrong. Rouse stands accused of murdering Kyle and Chad Littlefield in a shooting range back in 2013. An Oscar-nominated film about the Navy SEAL's life has grossed more than $280 million so far. And the Powerball's top prize continues to grow. And tonight's jackpot is the third largest in U.S. history. The multi-state lottery has reached a half a billion dollars. The jackpot has anyway. If you got the winning ticket, you can take a lump sum of $337 million. The odds are not too good. One in 175 million. Another update for you in 30 minutes.